Hey, what's up YouTube? Okay, so basically what I want to do is a pack dump and go over my archery setup for what I brought to the Total Archery Challenge here. Uh, actually, we just got back about 20 minutes ago and I had everything out already, just unpacking things. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to make a video and let you guys know uh, just what I used on this trip. So we're just going to dive right into it. I'll go through my pack and what I brought. So this is the Kefaru 22 mag. Um, it's on a 24 inch tactical frame and I've got a couple of belt pockets on it. I've got just a medium belt pouch and then a Nalgene pouch, both from Kefaru there. Um, so first of all, got my little Mountain Ops goblet that just goes right in that water bottle holder. And then on this side, basically what I kept on this side is um, just a few things. I've got just uh, Mountain Ops Blaze and I'd kept my rangefinder and releases in this pocket, which I will go through when I open up my bow case. Um, inside of the pack itself, let me move this down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so inside of the pack itself, just has a couple compression straps here. And I would strap my bow on the back of this pack when we were going up and down the mountain, uh, just anytime I wasn't shooting. Open this front zipper pocket up. Then here we've got essentials, got a little toilet paper, and just a couple of granola bars. Um, this pack, I did have quite a bit more food in it, just snacking throughout the day. I always like to just be snacking throughout the day anytime I'm hiking like that. Um, here I've got my Bushnell Forge 10x42s. These were the binos I decided to bring uh, up the mountain just to check out the targets and uh, see where the scoring rings were, uh, the kill zones were, and just see if there's any um, obstructions in the lanes, limbs, rocks, anything like that. Uh, good to have a good pair of binos on you while you're shooting that course. Then I've got my medical kit. This is the same kit that I take with me on generally just about any hunt. Inside of this thing, I've got pretty much all of your essentials, including a uh, clock kit. So it's like basically if you were to puncture yourself with a broadhead or something like that, I've got a clock kit in here. You can shove it in the wound and it's supposed to, supposed to work, supposed to kind of expand and uh, stop the bleeding. On top of that, just all of your general medical kit. I've got some um, moleskin in here as well. Uh, if anybody's got their feet, um, giving them problems with blistering and stuff like that. I didn't have any problems with that whatsoever. Uh, so anyway, just a bunch of little medical supplies in there. I also brought my King's Camo top. I didn't bring my bottoms, just the top uh, rain gear. So this is the King's Camo Storm rain jacket. And uh, out there on the shoot, sometimes you're gonna run into rain. Sometimes you're gonna run into uh, just a little bit of weather and it might end up raining on you. So uh, good to bring just a good rain jacket. Um, outside of that, we'll go to this top pocket. And there I brought my Poseidon phone charger. Um, that's pretty straightforward what it is. This is just a phone charger. It's got a little light on it. But generally, I can get about three charges on my cell phone with this. Um, then I also brought... Oh, it's inside. I did unpack that. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I brought my camera bag. So this is the camera bag that I hold my Canon Rebel SL3, which is what I'm filming on right now. Um, I hold my camera in here and the little shotgun road mic, the road mini goes in here as well. I've got, so I carry two extra batteries with me, the charger. Um, then on the other side of this little pack, I have just some tripod mounts and extra SD cards. All I did was just bring the kit lens with this camera, um, which is a 18 to 55 millimeter and it worked great for filming. Um, so anyway, camera, that went in there as well. And then these are the boots that I ran. So these are the Crispy Thors and they performed absolutely 
amazing as always. I've never had any problems whatsoever with any of my crispy boots. Um, so yeah, crispy Thor is great boot. Check them out. Then on top yet, we've got some business cards. <laughs> Just some white tail fit business cards. And I always, pretty much everywhere I go, I always carry a headlamp. This is the Phoenix HL50 headlamp, and it just takes one AA battery, and that works really, really well. But I always carry it. It's not like I needed it on this trip, but I always carry it because it's super lightweight, and you, I don't know, you just never know if you're going to need a headlamp. Um, if you're shooting up there and it gets dark, and you got to find your way back off down to the tram, I don't know. So I just always carry it with me. Okay, so also on my pack, on the front, I've got this little attachment right here. And that is made by Peak Design, and I think it's called, I wanna say it's called the Capture. Anyway, uh, there's a mount that goes on my DSLR camera, and then that clips into this little holder right here, so I can carry my DSLR camera on my backpack at all times and not have to dig into my backpack every time I wanna whip it out and start filming. So anyway, that is pretty much my whole pack dump. All right, we'll go through my bow now. All right, so here is my setup for my bow. This is my bow case. It is a Plano pillar lock. Um, works great for just for travel and stuff like that. So I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so inside the bow case is my Hoyt RX3. And this bow is basically the bow that I hunted all spring with uh, for turkey hunting, bear hunting, stuff like that. Um, awesome bow, absolutely amazing bow. I love this thing. I'm running my America's Best Bow Strings Whitetail Fit Signature Series strings. Um, also, uh, that just launched, so these strings and cables are available on America's Best Bow Strings website, as well as any dealer across the nation. If they can order in America's Best Bow String, they can get you the Whitetail Fit Signature Series. So check that stuff out. It is a flow orange, gunmetal gray, and white twist. Love them. So the sight that I'm running on this bow is the Excel AccuTouch Carbon Pro. And this has been one of my all-time favorite sights that I've ever ran. Um, just extreme attention to detail on this sight. They really did take a tournament archery sight and um, make it for bow hunters. This thing is amazing. So if you've never checked out the Excel AccuTouch, I suggest you go check it out. Awesome sight. That's what I'm running on my bow. Um, I've got it completely dialed out past 100 yards. I can get with this bow, I'm shooting about 300 feet per second, and uh, I can get about 120 yards before I start hitting fletching. And out of Total Archery Challenge, that's kind of nice to have because there were several bombs 100 yard plus. So anyway, that's the side I'm running. I am running the QAD drop away. This is the QAD Ultra Rest. Um, great rest, tunes really well. And then I am running for my stabilizer setup. I am running the Bee Stinger Micro Hex stabilizers and utilizing their Elite Sidebar Bracket. Um, these are a great stabilizer. They're really low profile. Um, really take care of vibration pretty well and um, they're just sleek slim they look good and they work good so I'm running two ounces on the front and six ounces on the rear for my quiver that I ran on this bow this quiver is just Hoyt's carbon quiver and it's a six arrow quiver just bolts up right here to the riser on these two spots. I've got it unbolted right now, but you can see how that attaches. And this quiver worked really, really well. So lightweight, super lightweight, really durable. Um, holds, the, holds the arrows in really well. So the arrows are Easton Hex 330s, and I run a 50 grain brass insert up front with a 100 grain field tip. Got a bunch of junk on it, a bunch of target matter. On the back end, I run a three fletch AAE max stealth vein um, on just a four inch boning arrow wrap. And yeah, 
works really, really well, great arrow. These things come out to, without lighted knocks, they come out to 404 grains. I've got them written on every vein, how many grains each arrow weighs, and all the tolerances are really, really close. So anyway, these arrows are 0.001 straightness, um, 7.9 grains per inch. I cut them to 26 inches. Um, just a great arrow for 3D archery as well as um, deer hunting and just any kind of game that's smaller than an elk. So this I would have no problem bringing on my mule deer hunt, which I'm going to be bringing it on with uh, sever broadheads up on front. So anyway, great arrow setup. And that is what I ran for my archery setup at Total Archery Challenge. Yeah, anyway. So just a little bit about the specs on my bow. So this is the Hoyt. This is the Hoyt RX3. And um, I've got this thing with 80 pound limbs. I'm shooting the Bee Stinger Micro Hex bars front and rear. I've got a 10 inch front bar, again, two ounces an eight inch back bar, six ounces, utilizing their elite side bracket. Um, for the rest, again, just the Hoyt Ultra Rest, uh, made by QAD. For my strings and cables, these are the Whitetail Fit Signature Series, America's Best Bow Strings Platinum cables and strings. Um, yeah, just the regular Hoyt, Hoyt grip. Uh, I haven't changed anything on the grip. I keep it in the neutral position. It is adjustable left to right. Um, just depending on how you hold your bow and your hand position at full draw, you can adjust that a little bit. I keep it neutral. Um, yeah, that was pretty much my archery setup there. I'll show you what releases I'm using. So inside of my release pouch, I just carry rangefinder, and this is just a loophole. Uh, RX650. I was having some problems with it ranging though. It was bouncing around three to four yards at long distance, which isn't good, so I'm gonna have to get that checked out. Um, then I carry two different sets of Allen wrenches just to adjust anything on my bow that I need to or other people's bows. So I just wanna make sure that I have all of the sizes that I want, um, full spectrum of sizes. So I carry both the big and the small uh, archers Allen wrenches. Okay, so here's the good stuff. All right, so these are the two releases that I used at the Total Archery Challenge. This first release, which I used probably three quarters of the time, um, this is the True Ball HBC Three Finger. What that stands for is a Honey Badger Claw Three Finger, and this is a hinge release. Um, I've got it set fairly hot, so right at the clicker, I don't have a whole ton of movement past the clicker. So when you have this full draw, you start pulling through, you can hear that click. Hear that? then it goes off. So you just keep using your back tension. This just kept me really um, humble, I guess, so that I kept my strict form on the mountain no matter what, at whatever angle I was shooting, I had to keep strict form or my bow wasn't gonna go off. So that's kind of why I like to use the hinge most of the time. Now here's the other release I was using and this I used mostly for just extreme angle shots. So if I'm super far uphill, super far downhill, it's really, really hard to get your hinge to go off properly. So um, anyway, I was kind of just switching back and forth, utilizing back tension, but shooting the True Ball Blade Pro. Again, this is a three finger release. It holds on my face identical to the Honey Badger Claw. Um, but this is a thumb trigger, so I've just got this set. Again, pretty light, so when I'm pulling through, pulling through, pulling through, it fires. Um, anyway, I've just got a little piece of D-loop material on it. That is just to hold it on my hand. That has nothing to do with actually pulling it um, and making the release go off. It's just so that when I fire or when I'm messing with my camera and stuff, I can just have it hanging off of my arm and not have to worry about dropping it in the dirt. So anyway, those are the two releases I used. Both worked absolutely flawlessly. Um, this Honey Badger Claw, I'm starting to really, really like it. And I wouldn't even be surprised if I do a few hunts with this release, um, maybe try to take a doe or two with it. Just because it's like, it, it keeps me really, really humble in my shot. And you know, I can't manipulate the release to go off if I do. Um, I shouldn't say that. You can manipulate the release. You can dump it. So basically, if you have it at full draw, you can be pulling and then just dump off the back end real hard. 
not a good thing to do and you will know significantly with Aeroflight that you dumped the release like for me it goes way way off to the left if I dump the release so when you're just pulling through like you should it should just break on its own surprise shot and uh, it's just a fun release to use so if you never checked out the true ball series of releases I suggest you do they've been working really really well for me okay so last but not least was my clothing that I was wearing so for my pants I was wearing the Kings XKG Ridge Pant, and this is just a solid color. Um, khaki, I think, is what the color is called. But anyway, um, they work really, really well. This is a great pant, lightweight, breathes really, really well. You can move, stretch around in it, um, not have any issues there. It's got a couple side pockets. Um, and then this is Kings uh, Flat Belt. So this belt stays flat to your body, and it works really, really well with... Um, uh, carrying around a backpack and cinching your backpack down really tight and not having to worry about this digging into your body So for my tops, I'm rocking the new whitetail fit gear. Obviously. I'm a huge fan of this stuff um, It's some just really really comfortable gear comfortable t-shirt um, Rocking the hat as well. All my t-shirts are pretty much like a 60 40 blend poly cotton and uh, Just super super comfortable t-shirts. They breathe well. They fit well um, They're lightweight just they're really, really comfortable, and obviously, I'm a big fan of the designs. Whitetailfit.com slash shop, and you can get yours. But anyway, a little plug there. So yeah, anyway, that is the t-shirts I was running. I've got several different styles on the website you can check out, but I was running those t-shirts all weekend. Absolutely loved them. My brothers were running them as well. Um, just super, super comfortable t-shirt to be wearing up on the mountain and just everyday use. So for my headwear, I am rocking the Whitetail Fit American cap right now. I've got several other hats on the website as well as other t-shirts. This is just one of them. If you like the stuff, uh, grab a t-shirt, grab a hat. Uh, it really, really helps support this brand, helps support the lifestyle and keeps things rolling. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. I hope you like this little video, the little pack dump, little gear dump and uh, just a review of the bow that I brought to Total Archery Challenge. Maybe that'll help you guys if you plan on going to Total Archery Challenge yourself. Uh, I highly recommend it, it's an amazing shoot. I hope you enjoyed the videos previous to this of the Total Archery Challenge. So yeah, anyway, appreciate y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like, comment down below, let me know if you like this video and if you like this style of video, just random pack dumps, going over the bow, Total Archery Challenge, that kind of stuff. Just let me know. Thanks guys, appreciate y'all, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. Perfect. 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 Perfect.